Ah. Place frozen dim sims in microwave. Fire guard, make food. Why do you wear black gloves? Um, because I'm not a grot. Ah. Uh. That should be illegal. Hi, welcome to Chewy's Barbecue. Well, you'll learn the tips and tricks to master your grill. I'm grilling Dim Sims in the Weber today, or as we like to call them, Dimmies. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your mates, and leave a comment. And the channel is as easy to follow as hitting that subscribe and that bell button, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload new content. Also, jump onto my Instagram page for giveaways and my Facebook page for extra content. So, let's get into it. Now, we obviously need dim sims, and frozen is the way to go. Even Marathon Foods have come to the party and realised you can barbecue these things. Even their bag state steam, fry or barbecue. Yet, the barbecue instructions are leaving me scratching my head just a little bit. Place frozen dim sims in microwave. What the? The last time I checked, microwaving food was not barbecue. So I'm not going to be putting my food into a microwave. Now for those of you who don't know what a dim sim is, think of it as a large Chinese dumpling that can be steamed or fried. They usually consist of cabbage, onion, spices and some sort of meat substance. I'm going to be using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle today and I'm going to ramp the heat up using one of my kettle cones. I have made a lengthy video on what you can cook with a kettle cone. I suggest tracking that down. But for now, we want to three quarter fill a chimney starter with briquettes. Light them up once they're fully ashed over, dump them into that kettle cone. Fire God, make food! The kettle cone's talking to us. I don't know why people think they can get the same temps out of baskets as you can out of a kettle cone. Oh, and throw your glove. Next up, put your lid on, make sure all the vents are wide open, give it 10 minutes to warm up, and by that stage, you should be reaching temps at 240 degrees Celsius and above. Hey, why do you wear black gloves? Um, because I'm not a grot. Scissor twirl. Oh, oh, nearly lost an eye. Okay, to prep the dimmies, grab the bag, grab a pair of scissors, cut the bag, dump the dimmies into a bowl. Add some oil, mix it up, make sure they all get a nice light coating. Ah. The Weber should be hot enough now, so let's get the dimmies on. So just put the dimmies around the outermost part of the grill, because this is where the hot air is forced as it is drawn up through the bowl vent, through the kettle cone, up to the top of the lid, and then forced around the edge of the lid and back down the bowl. So just place the lid back on. We're cooking with a high indirect heat today of 240 degrees Celsius and above. These dimmies are only going to take about 30 minutes or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at one beer. But as you know, I always say, keep hydrated, make it two. So the lid vent creates a hot spot as the oxygen is sucked in through those bowl vents, through the kettle cone and out over through that lid vent. So I recommend spinning the lid a third of the way every 10 minutes. 
Easy. The dimmies are ready when they have a nice golden colour on the outside and when the internal temp is as hot as lava and burns the roof of your mouth. Or 65 degrees Celsius and above. Whichever. So we just need to get them off the heat and into a bowl. <laughs> Look at that colour. Everyone else is watching this and going, what's that? All the Aussies out there going, yeah. Now we have them in a bowl, just add some salt. Plain old table salt, it's all you need. Give them a shake up. Just give them a couple of minutes to cool down and serve with your favorite sauce. My go-to is soy sauce. Let's see what's in these. How easy was that? Super tasty food, cooked in a Weber with a kettle cone once again, and no microwave in sight. Look, I know I say this a lot, but that should be illegal. Cheers for watching.